What's up, fans? Our partners here at Bet Online continue to be the number one source for all your betting needs and sports info. Find all the latest odds, news, sports developments, including this year's NBA Finals, NHL Hockey Conference Finals, Major League Baseball, and the latest fighting news, even next season's early NFL futures. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today to receive your 50% Welcome bonus on your first deposit. Use our promo code BELIEVE, B-L-E-A-V, to get the bonus and get into the action. Bet online where the game starts. Not only does Bet Online sponsor the Boss Man Show, they'll sponsor you too. Get Bet, bet Online today because the Boss Man said so. man show with new head coach from Evansville representing the purple aces in this nice polo shirt there with a the Nike swoosh on it. David Raglan and yeah, Evansville why I used to go up there and gamble at the casino two hours from Nashville, I was in Tennessee State. So what's up with your coach? <laughs> Not too much boss man. How you doing? Hey I'm living life man. It's, it's 101 in Atlanta today. So it's, it's hot but I'm cool, loving it's it. Cool day. It's a cool day in Atlanta. Yeah. 101 it, it, that's light. Yes, and here it's, it's hot and humid, so it's even two times worse. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Stay yes, inside. Indeed. Yes, indeed. Hey, man, how I feel to be back home, brother? Feels great. Feels really, really good. Um, you know, it's, it's a little bit different. My, my son laughs at me because I'll tell the story. You know, usually for the past 20 years, I've come home to hang out with my family, put my feet up catch up with, with old friends. This time, I'm coming back home to work. You know, so it, it's just, it's a different feel, but home is home. Uh, home is, is where I grew up. You know, a lot of people contributed to the maturation process of me as a young man, as a person, uh, as a professional. And it's an opportunity for me to get back to the community that's done so much for me. No doubt, man. And is in a great spot. Right off the of I-24 up there, man. Great arena. You guys play in the Fort Center downtown as well, man. So I think Evans has a lot of good things going on for Evansville as well, man. Absolutely. And you know, like you said, you know that city. So when you go recruit a, a young man, you are Evansville. You grew up there. You can really settle on the city and on the people. What's all about how I can help mold you as a, a young man to, after years in Evansville to come back and still give back and pour into it because of what it done for you. Absolutely. And and the thing is. I think people feed off energy. I love your energy. Like, that, that, it, I'm sure it's easy for people to interview with you because you have great energy. And that's the one thing. There's a lot of pride that I have in this, just the, the, the community, then the university, then the program. You know, so if you can feel that as, as a student athlete that's getting recruited, it's hard for you not to believe in it as well. You know, but but it's, it's truth behind it. There's a lot of times I've, I recruited places and I saw the vision with no proof that it's happened before. Just straight up belief, like believe, me, trust me, blind faith. Like here is different. You know, it, it's here's the vision, but there's proof that there's been really good teams, really good coaches, pros in a great place with wonderful people. Can't beat it. No doubt. I'm going to ask you, uh, Coach Raglan, you know, my father's 81 years old. He's 82 years old in August. He's a coach. And his why was he wanted to help young men in Atlanta become better young men and, and teach them the game of football, basketball, and baseball. And this has been a barber. So for, for you, what is your why? Why are you getting into coaching? And what about this business makes you so happy, man? Spot on. Spot on. So what, what your father, what he did, uh, I'm, I'm a servant leader by, by I guess I would, uh, I was grown into it uh, by, by just nature. 
uh, my my mother, my, my father. That's what they've done. You know, my, my mother worked in at at risk uh, programs at the YMCA, and I've always seen them given to other people, give their time, give their attention, give their their money, whatever it may be. They were given to other people. I think as you give to other people, then somehow, some way, you get out of that that situation. But it's about what's in your heart. If you're doing it for the right reasons, if you're giving to other people, then in re in return, uh, it worked. It works out for you too. But I just wanted to do something while I was helping young people become better people. It just happened to be in basketball. And, and I, I love it. I wake up every day just knowing the responsibility, I'm also appreciative of the, of, of the responsibility to help young men have a, a, an opportunity and, and to exceed in all facets of life, academically, socially, athletically. Then they, they, they become husbands, fathers, successful people in life. And, and that's that's the journey. That's the reason why I do it. And Coach Ragman, similar to why I do this show, man, because you said there's some key, serving others. I feel like, you know, this platform I've built from the grassroots ground, I'm telling you, Coach Ragman, I did this from the ground up. Nobody helped me with this. I tried to get help and people blew me off with it back in the day. And and, and now that they, now that they, they want to get involved, but now I'm like, nah, Absolutely. I help you when I was nothing. Absolutely. Like, I've been doing this 12 years, but my goal is to, I want to give you all a platform to talk about your program without bias, without narrative. Just It's truly you and your program giving you an opportunity to talk about your program because I feel like a lot of times on other networks, it's more of a narrative base of questioning. It's not like, hey, this is true, raw, real, like when a barbershop having, having a talk about your program. Absolutely. It's not like a robot or I got a list of questions I'm going to ask you. Nah, we're talking like two brothers in a barbershop, man. So I feel like I use this just to serve others and help people get into a city of Atlanta, no more not marketing in the country with this platform I've been blessed to have for 12 years, man, and help people learn about your programs. I've had coaches Tell me, Coach Ragland, this is truth, that they've gotten guys from listening to my show. Guys listen to my show, so I heard them, heard them on my show and said, they ain't want to come play for them. That's big time. So that's, that's the time. impact the show can have. And I said, that's baby so happy. I want to serve you all is give you all a platform for this stuff. But if I know no, nothing's attached to it, no strings attached to it, just, hey, come on, talk about your program for 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. It's all yeah. good. None, yeah. none I need from you, just, just a few minutes of your time. Yeah, and, and that's what, that's what, People in our positions, that's what we're, we're here to do. Serve others, create opportunity. Like, it, at the end of the day, you know, I think about our team. I can only play five dudes at a time. I'm, I'm giving all 16 of them, walk-ons included, an opportunity to play. But there's only five that I can play. But it's, it's all about I'm going to put, put in the time, staff's going to put in the time, energy, commitment, sacrifice for them to have the opportunity to be the best they can be. Now, they're, they're going to take advantage of it or, or not, uh, but it's all about opportunity. You're given opportunity, I'm given opportunity. Now let's, let's have our, our young people take advantage of it. I hear that, Coach. How's it been meeting your young men? You know, when you take over a new job, it's always kind of that, that whole first the awkwardness because you didn't, you didn't choose those young men that, you, well, they didn't choose you, you chose them. So Absolutely. it's making them understand that, hey, I chose you all. I want to be yeah. here with you all. How's that been But being on the bond with those young men, being relationships with these young men, being a rapport you need to be successful as a team going forward? Yeah, you know, it, it's been unique. Uh, you know, because when you, you commit to a team, you don't really commit to a coaching change. So for the returners, you know, it, it's just building a rapport. They came in with a, a previous staff but they're being coached by a different staff. Uh, the one thing that, that I wanted to do with them, especially, is, is let them know we understand. Like, we understand change can be difficult, can be tough. Uh, this isn't what you signed up for. However, it, it's, it's, let's be open. Uh, let's be open to you being coached differently. We'll be open to your situation, and let's work together to make you the, the very best. Uh, the guys coming in that the old staff recruited and 
us, the new staff, brought in. The one thing that all three parties, returners, newcomers, old staff, sign, and guys we signed, they're all, all great people. You know, that the previous staff did an unbelievable job recruiting really good people that are open to new relationships, that are open to different coaches coaching them. And as long as you're accepting to that, then you have an opportunity to go and be as good as you want to be uh, in, in, in everything that you're looking to strive to achieve. You know, so it, it, we, we've been, we're, we're a focus group staff on relationship. Some people talk about relationship building and we're relational, but they don't do it. Uh, we're we're going to do a ton in the community uh, engagement, but we got to engage and have relationships with our student athletes first. And that's what we've been able to do. That's what we've grown uh, is a relationship that's going to end up being a trusting one, but a trusting one is with honesty. And, and honesty can be tough, but people either respect honesty or, or they crave it and they want it. Uh, they never don't like you being honest with you, except for maybe it, when it's something they don't want to hear, but at the end of it, they at least respect it. Uh, so that that's how we want the relationships to grow, what we look to do with the relationships. And, and we've been fortunate to have really good people. Now, for the workouts you have at Coach Ragland, let me ask you this. How, which would be a new hire, how much do you do team stuff versus individual drills to get, get the guys better in, in, individually hey, before you get back in the fall here, come August or September, get ready yeah. to practice? Great question. So main, mainly it's been skill. Uh, you know, we, we just want to work on skill development, uh, dribble pass and shoot. Like we want them, we want them being players. You know, a lot of guys like, think about my one and my two and my three, forget the number, be a basketball player. Like we want you to make plays, make plays for your teammates, make plays that make sense. If it's for you, all right, go and finish it. If it's for your teammate, get off your hands, make the right play, let them finish the play. Um, so, so really it's, it's skill development and confidence. You know, what, what we do every day is as much mental as it is physical. If your mind is right, your game is right. You know, so we want to build up confidence. You build up confidence through, you know, a committed, consistent, work ethic, um, and, and I think our, you know, we're only two days in, but they're accepting it, they're pushing, pushing themselves, and they're talking to their teammates to just be, get better in skill, get better in confidence, get better with pace, and just rep it out. No doubt, and I feel like this goes right, you're in a great spot to find talent, man, in Evansville. Like, how about recruiting Evansville? Like, you got to pretty much draw a circle around 300 miles so we can get in your car and find talent all over the Midwest, come down to even Nashville, Memphis, and find talent. So talk about that, being in the way you are, and you need your location to, to get to where you need to get to the fine talent that, that fits your program and be a purple aces, man. Yeah, I mean, you always think about your footprint, like where you're at. You go down to Memphis, get players, go out to St. Louis, that area of Missouri, get you some good players, go out to, to Louisville, uh, go out east and, and get you some players up to Indianapolis. And, and I, I just think we're in a hotbed of really good players that know basketball, knowledgeable about it, and love it. You know, and that's what you want. You want knowledgeable players that love to work to get better. And we're in a great area of Indiana, Kentucky, Missouri, Ohio, Illinois, like in this area where it, it's a lot of really good players that love the hoop and have some knowledge of it. And, and I think you can get down to, you know, the Tennessees, and Georgias, and, you know, just different areas, even, even in Florida, but all over the, the country from this area and get really good players that love a basketball league. The Missouri Valley is a basketball league. Like it's not football. Uh, you know, no disrespect to football, but, you know, it, it's just not what you get with the Missouri Valley. It, it's basketball-driven. Uh, we play at the Ford Center in a great arena, but we go to so many other different arenas that are really good, passionate, knowledgeable fan bases. And to have that opportunity in this area it is you, you get people from around here 
a three to four hour radius, but you can reach the the country and even overseas and get really good talented players that want to play in a basketball league. Let me ask you about Atlanta recruiting because I feel like here, maybe I'm biased. We have some of the top flight AAU programs, top five high school coaches in, in, in the country. And you get a guy from Atlanta, he can be plug and play as a freshman because I feel like he's taught his IQ for basketball a little bit higher than his uh, other state states in the country. So it's about recruiting Atlanta when you come down here and find players all over the state here that can really fit a program and fit uh, the bill for what a coach needs. Yeah, so, I mean, the biggest thing is, is relationships. I think there's a lot of great players uh, in, in the Atlanta area, in Georgia. Um, and I, I think a lot of coaches psych themselves out to think that they can't go and get those players because they are good players. Uh, but if you build really good relationships and you do the work, you can get them to play at your place. Mm. You know, and, and, and that's the thing that, that we want to do here. We, we've not traditionally had a ton of players from that area. But, I mean, you talk about dudes that know how to play, athletic ability, which that's what we want up here at Evansville is length, athleticism, size. Uh, that's a great place to go and, and, and get some really good players from. So we're, we're going to work on those relationships, build them, like, like just share our brand of basketball, how we want to play, and uh, just get those relationships and get players from that area. I got two more for you, Coach Raglan. Uh, one about non non conference non conference scheduling. I know that's probably your toughest thing to do besides recruiting <laughs> non conference scheduling. And I, I, and I also know some of the games are probably done for you already. So after this year, we can actually do your own schedule for the most part. How are you going to kind of go about doing it, man? Going for being in the valley, knowing your quality of conference as well. Also, can get some quality majors come down and play you at, at the sports center as well. Yep. I mean, great, great. Like here's the thing: it's a great place to play. People. We'll support it, especially in the fourth center. And we're a conference that we should be playing more home games than away games. Like, that, that's just the truth. Uh, I love MTE events. I think they're, they're great. I think it's great to get other teams at a neutral site. It's good for that team, and it's good for you. That's what you do in the NCAA tournament. And everybody wants to play in the NCAA tournament. Well, let's get to – situations that put us in in that 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 realm before we get there um but more home games uh, we'll look to to travel mtes uh, i love playing in uh, vegas has a great tournament uh, like warmer areas later like in december for our team is great um uh, you know but but just a competitive schedule uh, you know, playing against different styles, I'm all about that. We'll, we'll play against a team that had, plays a Princeton style of, of basketball, which a lot of people don't like playing against because it's unique. Um, but, again, if you're thinking NCAA tournament, what if you run into a team that, that, that runs Princeton stuff? If you've mm -hmm. never seen it, you're not prepared. Uh, so I just like quality opponent, opponents with different styles. Um, we want to be pushed – in every game, but we want to be prepared for conference season and the NCAA tournament. Uh, so play quality opponents at the Forest Center, playing MTEs, get ready for the conference season, then make a noise in the NCAA tournament. That's one for you, coach. I tell, I, I'm a foodie. I come in, I come in, and I'll have, I'm just be real with you. I have a house in Nashville still. So I come within Evansville and gamble. I'm not going to lie to you, but I still do that. Come yeah, in and sit on and gamble. So I would be real with you about this. So when I come to Evansville, coach, what's the place I should go stop by and get some food at when I'm, when I'm in town, man? So you're trying to get me in trouble. That's that's what you're trying to do. <laughs> uh, I, 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 got a, I got a couple of different places. I'll tell you what, Evansville is a foodie, foodie city. Uh, if you ever come in the fall festival, you'll get whatever you want from elephant ears to, you know, just, it just it, it's, it's a great place to, to go and visit. Um, I'm, I'm a pizza guy in Evansville. You get all kind of different pizza from Taroni's, which is off the charts. Uh, it's, it's right down the street, which is trouble for me. But uh, <laughs> Kipley's, uh, Uda Pizza, A-Zip. Uh, one of my mob pizza, 
there's so many different pizza places that are really, really good. Uh, and, and, and the good thing about Evansville, you'll get some not chain uh, places here that, that like cross eye cricket, uh, comfort. I think it's comfort cr- cricket. Great place. Great place to go. Angelo's downtown. Uh, a lot of options. Just call me when you come to town. We'll, we'll go break bread and chop it up at, at one of these places. No doubt we'll get you my number offline, Coach Ragland. This has been so Let's much fun, it. brother. Glad you have the job. Like I said, you know, I'm going to see you at Belmont for sure. Let's do I don't it. know about Murray, Kentucky. I don't know if I do Murray, Kentucky. <laughs> but I can do Belmont for sure. I have a house right there in Dansville for sure, brother. I'm going to do Dansville for you, yeah. man. So I'm I, I, see. I look forward to it. Let me know if you ever come to Evansville. When we're in Atlanta uh, recruiting, I'm going to hit your line. We'll, we'll connect. Uh, let, let you show me around a little bit. I sure will, and I got some stuff for you, brother. Hey, if you t- take your wife to this place in Atlanta, raise on the river. Raise on the river. They'll score you some points, brother. I'm telling you that. I like that. I, I need some pointers. I <laughs> yes, need yes, indeed. <laughs> Folks, they're racking on the Boston Man Show, Evan Zill, Purple Aces, new head coach. Thanks so much. What's up, fans? Our partners here at Bet Online continue to be the number one source for all your betting needs and sports info. Find all the latest odds, news, sports developments, including this year's NBA Finals, NHL Hockey Conference Finals, Major League Baseball, and the latest fighting news, even next season's early NFL futures. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today to receive your 50% Welcome bonus on your first deposit. Use our promo code BELIEVE, B-L-E-A-V, to get the bonus and get into the action. Bet online where the game starts. Not only does Bet Online sponsor the Boss Man Show, they'll sponsor you too. Get Bet Online today because the Boss Man said so. <laughs> 